to stop you to a certain degree? Is it ball movement the main thing that's, that's going to help counter that that we didn't see tonight? Um, sometimes it, it helps, absolutely. Uh, when we move the ball and uh, you know, we change uh, sides of the floor, it usually helps uh, to open things up uh, where we penetrate and drive and kick and the ball is moving and swinging. Usually, you know, the defense has to move and at some point the defense won't move, uh, so we will open things up. It felt like a game where, I mean, you and the entire team just had trouble catching a rhythm. Did it feel that way to you guys as well? Yeah, for the most part. For the most part. Why do you think that happened? You know, rusty, a little rusty. You know, this one is true. The first game after a long trip, um, you know, a three-hour time change, it affects you a little bit physically, and um, you know, you gotta really tune in mentally uh, to overcome that. Um, and, you know, you know, we didn't do a very good job of that. It just seems like you can see a game like this coming, and yet you're almost powerless to stop it. Is that? Uh, I mean, I'm. You know, I was hoping that it, it wouldn't happen like this tonight. Um, but uh, you, know, they, you know, I got to give them credit because they came uh, from a um, butt kicking last night in, in Portland. I watched some part of that game and they bounced back um, you know, really well tonight and played with a lot of energy and really confident. Um, so, um, so they played it better than I expected. Is the game made more difficult at all in any way by them missing Jennings and McGetty and Gooden just in that you're not quite sure what they're going to do? Well, uh, I mean, not, not really. Not really. I mean, we knew that they had enough of a personnel uh, in their roster to give us problems. Um, so we knew it was going to be a battle. Uh, we knew this team as a team that plays for 48 minutes, doesn't really uh, give up uh, and just works hard. Um, so we had to match that. And, and then um, we had to try to impose our rhythm, which we didn't get much uh, uh, at all during the game. Pal, um, coming off a game like this, how hungry and fired up do you think you guys will be against the Heat on Saturday? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we will, we will be hungry um, you know, and be ready to play uh, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. you know, it will be obviously a very tough opponent. They've been playing really well. Um, you know, lost the last one um, you know, against uh, the hottest team in the league, mm -hmm. pretty much or one of the hottest with San Antonio. Um, so, so we'll be uh, we'll be ready to go. We've got to prepare ourselves during this uh, couple of days, uh, mentally and physically, to uh, you know, to, to be ready to play that game because you know it's an awkward time. As it is the holidays, and mm -hmm. you know you don't want to be distracted in, in any way. It's, not, it's kind of an invented rivalry at this point, though. I mean, you know, if, if it was the Celtics, we wouldn't have any problem talking about history or anything. Right. Like, but this is not This is just speculatory, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's an exciting game just because uh, of you know, the hype that uh, has been around Miami the whole, the whole, you know, since the offseason, yeah. since the moves, and uh, obviously we are um, the champions. So, uh, you know, obviously it's exciting. You are the champions, but you're kind of the underdogs. Are you right? They've been getting more attention than you, but you're the champs. Um, yeah, to, to a certain point, obviously, they're the, they're the um, uh, new team, kind of, right? Uh, so they're, um, you know, they, they're creating a lot of uh, attention, obviously, with the big names and the big moves. And uh, But um, still, we have to go out there and play and um, compete really hard and, and hopefully prove that we're a better team. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you.